Joa, comment allez-vous? <laughs> well, thank you. I would love to discuss something about the failures, mistakes we make. The thing I feel most thankful is all the mistakes, all the refuse that I got. Because without that, there will never be Alibaba. In the past 18 years, every day we make mistakes. Every day we were rejected. I think being rejected, being refused by people, that is very natural. Why people should help you? You have to prove yourself, then people will help you. Alibaba was not made today. Alibaba was made 18 years ago in my apartment. They're believing that using internet empower others, using in internet to help young people, small business and women will have bright future. So it's been 18 years hard work in Kim Hill. Today, there are a lot of books about us. I don't read these books because I think these books are not about us. People love to see successful stories, but most of the success stories, they succeed because of the mistakes. I encourage all the young people, entrepreneurs, to learn from the mistakes. Do not study successful stories. Successful, successful stories in the Harvard Business School, normally, you know, there are a lot of things behind you don't know. But if you learn from the mistakes, if you learn, especially the failures case studies, it's going to help you. What I want to say is not about you. You learn from mistakes does not mean you will avoid mistakes. You will learn the attitude towards these mistakes and never give up fighting again. Of course, it's very painful when you are rejected, when you're refused. I went all the around looking for money, nobody gave us the money. I all go around looking for partnerships, nobody believed small business and e-commerce in China would work. I was very painful that day and when I saw one movie, Forrest Gump. I love that movie, especially the sentence that mom said life like a box of chocolate, you never know what you're going to get. So stay full, stay foolish to your dream and continue to fight. So this is what we did as an entrepreneur, we never complain. When people complain, the opportunity comes. So if you can solve the complaints, that is your opportunity. So I love to, when I talk to the entrepreneurs, I feel excited when I am sitting there, listen to the, the entrepreneurs talk. I feel inspired, I feel we are the same animal. The difference between big company and small company is not about revenue, it's about the dream. The small companies have the dreams. Most of the big companies, when they get certain size, they only have KPI. So if you fight only for next quarter, how can you survive in such a turbulent times? You have to believe the future. You have to continue to the future. You have to stay focused. As I said to myself early days, if there are nine rabbits on the ground, if you want to catch the rabbit, don't change the rabbit, change yourself, stick to one rabbit. If you have the dream, stick to the dream. That is what I believe. So this is what I, I want to say is that Alibaba started 18 years ago. We never change our dream. We believe e-commerce. We believe internet. We believe by helping young people, helping small business, and helping empower women, we will have the future. The, the difference between last century and this century, the difference between IT and DT is IT empower yourself, DT empower others. When you help others, you are helping yourselves. This is what we believe. 18 years ago, 18 people in my apartment. When we had this dream, when we started, everybody say, you guys are crazy. How can you do e-commerce? No infrastructure, no credit system, no logistics, no this, no that. How could you do internet? We say, if there's no logistic, let's build it. If there's no credit system, let's build it. That is why we need, they need entrepreneurs. One of the reasons people say, what's the secret of China grow so fast? One of the things that we Chinese learn very much in the past 30, we learn a lot about America. If you today, 
go to New York, pick up 100 Americans on the street, how many of them can speak more than 10 Chinese words? Very few. If you're in Beijing, Shanghai, you grasp 100 young people and ask them how many, how many of them can speak more than 20 English words, 80 of them. That is you learn, when you appreciate, when you're open-minded, when you learn from the others, you make progress.